I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tigers! It's Friday, December 7th. It's also a B-Day. Aside from the regular early release, we've got some other fun opportunities for you. Tonight, there's a boys hockey game at Baldwin Woodville and a home boys basketball game against Westby. Madrigal setup happens tonight too. Lunch and learns include weightlifting for both lunches. If you're looking for another option during fourth block, there's the engineering lab with Mr. Cassidy and anime with Miss Osborne. During fifth block, you've got reading in Spanish with Mr. Mrs. Rukavina. Now for some other announcements. Monday morning, Mr. Holden's advising will receive a visit from the Tiger Tea and Coffee Cart as part of the 12 Days of Coffee Cart, brought to you by the Great Attendance Race. If you haven't yet, Tigers, check for flyers that are posting the schedule of the Coffee Cart for the remainder of December. Here's another announcement. It's for FFA. There will be an FFA meeting Tuesday, December 11th from 3.15 to 4.15 in the high school ag room. The agenda includes Christmas tree pickup and lots more. Students interested in FFA are always welcome to attend. Also, members that sold more than $150 in cheese and sausage sale, remember you have a pizza and movie party after the FFA meeting. Do you have anything happening on Sunday? This Sunday, December 9th, is a Christmas on the farm at the Garden Valley Farmstead near Hickston from noon to 4 p.m. All are welcome to this free event, which includes grilled cheese, hot chocolate, cookies, and horse-drawn wagon rides. FBA members, if FFA members, if you can help at this event, sign up on the spreadsheet Mr. Markhart shared with you or email him. Finally, we have a note from the history world. On this date, 77 years ago, the Imperial Government of Japan ordered the fateful attack on Pearl Harbor, an American naval base in Hawaii. This attack led to the, to the U.S. entry into World War II. The surprise attack began in the early morning hours and 2,403 Americans were killed with over 1,100 wounded. President Roosevelt referred to, to December 7, 1941 and the attack on Pearl Harbor as a date that will live in infamy. It is without a doubt an event that changed our history forever. And with that, it's time to close out the announcements for today. Remember, we are changemakers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? We're coming to you for lunch and learn. Um, I have supervision today, so I won't be here today. Oh man! Hello, students. If this scene looks familiar, you might want to start checking the lunch and learn schedule. There is always at least one teacher with office hours so you can go in and get help or find a quiet place to study. Be sure to check in though before you go. Have a great day, Tigers. Don't look at the camera. Look over there. Okay. No, it's no. Look at face. Abby. Look at Abby. There's nowhere else. All right. Shh. Look at Abby. Say it. Oh, I'm going? Yes! <laughs> Wait for him to open it. Don't look at it. Open it, Mr. Rayburn. <laughs> you can't look anymore. <laughs>